Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to clean cat cages, and this is basic cleaning. So this is just your normal everyday cleaning. Um, if you are looking for the video on deep cleaning, that is a separate video. So look for specific deep cleaning cat cage video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need a litter scoop. Um, I may possibly need a scraper if there's poop stuck to the bottom of the litter box. This will help get you out. Um, and then this stuff is found in the exotics room. Um, and then I'm going to need one of these little brooms and dust pans or the shop vac, which is found over here. Um, and then obviously a trash can. So I'm going to come on over here to my first page. And I like to do these kind of like in a systematic order rather than every single cage by itself. I like to go through and do everything all at once. So go through, sweep all the litter boxes, go through, sweep out all the cages, go through, sweep out all the pans. That kind of thing, because it just seems to go a little faster, and especially if you're, um, especially if you're sharing the work with somebody. So first thing I'm going to do is grab the litter box, and then I'm going to sit it on the edge of the trash can. And we have clumping litter, so you should have litter clumps like so. And I'm going to make sure that I try to get everything out of there that I can. And sometimes it sticks, so I want to make sure I do the best job I can cleaning the litter box. What are you doing, kitty kitty? So then as you can see, I've got all of the clumps out of there, so her litter's clean. It looks like she could use a little bit more litter, so there is litter over here in the corner. Labeled cat litter. If this were a Monday and I were deep cleaning, I would actually completely change the litter. Um, it'll tell you on what days you need to completely change the litter on. But otherwise, I'm just going to add litter. They don't need the litter box super full. They just make a mess of it. So enough to cover the bottom like that is perfect. Otherwise, they just dump it all over their cage. So don't make your life any harder. Now, um, as you can see, she's got a cage mat in here. These are great. They cover the entire side, the entire entirety of the cage. They're really easy to clean off. Um, I'm gonna pull her food dish out. She has some food in here, some dry food. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's gross or moldy or wet or anything, so I can leave that in there. Um, I'm just gonna sit it underneath there for now. I'm going to just clean this off. Come here, pumpkin. I can pull her out and put her in another cage or in a carrier while I'm doing this. Um, she's gonna just move off this for me for a second. Um, so what I've done is I've contained all of the litter in this. And I'm just gonna kind of shake that off into the trash can. Now, during the week, it's fine to leave this. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of hair on it. Um, looks like she's got maybe a little uh, bit of poop or something here, um, maybe some wet food. Um, this is pretty dirty. So on a deep cleaning day, I'm going to completely change this. Um, I'm going to show how to deep clean this cage later, so I'm not going to change this now. But um, a little bit of hair and stuff on here is fine, but we don't want to leave it like that for weeks on end. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is while that's pulled out, She's got a mat in here too. I'm just gonna move that. And then um, I can pull this pan out. I know it's a little loud, huh? And I'm gonna sweep this pan off. And you can use the shop vac to do this or you can just use these little brooms. And they don't have to be perfect. Like on a deep cleaning day, we're gonna wash these pans anyway. If the pan was really gross, had poop or puke on it, I would just take this pan outside and hose it down. Um, she does have a little bit of pee on the pan back here. So she must have peed outside her litter box. So um, I can just spot clean that with rescue. And all that does is just reduce the smell. Because if you don't clean it, it'll smell like cat pee in here. So you can get paper towels from either the, the black things or we have some paper towels sitting around. Um, maintenance doesn't always do the best job of keeping your paper towel over school. Um, and so then I'm just going to wipe this off.
And then she's got some cat food and cat litter on in here. Um, so that is probably going to be easiest for me to uh, vacuum out. Or I can knock it down onto the pan. And sweep out. But if you don't clean these corners out from underneath these, um, the cat food and litter. No, 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 no. So she's a little scared. So what we're going to do, so this is one of the reasons you sometimes want to put them in a, in a carrier. So I put her in a carrier. There's a couple snacks back here. I'm just gonna leave the carrier sitting there because she doesn't like that loud noise. Um, and then when I'm done, I can put her back in here. But if the cat's not in here, you can actually lift this up. And so I've swept all that out now. So now this is pretty much ready for me to put um, the cat back in. So as you can see, it's not a very long process. Yes, sometimes it can take a little bit long if there's a lot of cats. On a deep cleaning day, I'm going to obviously wipe down all of the sides of the cage, clean this entire cage, not just do what I just did. This is just regular cleaning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put her blanket back in because I'm going to deep clean this cage later, at which point I'll change her blanket and her bedding. I do have to fold these to make them fit, which is fine. Litter box can go back in. There's her food. Um, her water dish is a little gross, so I'm gonna clean that really fast. So remember this is rescue, so it's just hydrogen peroxide, so it's not going to hurt her. That's one of the reasons we use this product. So I'm just going to wipe that off because it's a little gross. Again, this cage will get deep cleaned later, so we will be washing all this down. And then her water is dirty. It's got litter in it. So these things just move. These bowls slide out, and then I will just get her fresh water. And get it from the sink. We don't need to fill them all the way up. The cats don't need quite that much water. So about halfway is good. And then that goes back in. And then I'm ready to put Libby back in her cage. If she had toys, I could put toys back in there with her. Um, if she had a hide box, I want to make sure that her hide box, um, so like this kitty has a hide box, I want to make sure that her hide box has a blanket underneath so that they can feel comfortable laying on that blanket. Um, and then we just change bedding as needed, so when it gets dirty, it, we, we change it. Um, it doesn't have to be changed every day, um, but it does need changed at least weekly, weekly and you should do that on um, deep cleaning day. Being sick was jealous. So, um, if you guys have questions, let me know. I'm just going to put the kitty back in here, and then this cage will be done for just a basic cat cage cleaning.